Hello future programmers and welcome to your second tutorial and today I'm going to be going over how to say hello to a certain person by putting in a variable. So we're going to be using print statements and using variables to say hello to someone. So how we do that, I have my shell open right here for idle and I'm going to open a new file and once again good etiquette I want to make sure that I am commenting this out by putting my name so comment mr. Forberg and then I will comment again by the name of the program which I'm gonna call hello name because so we're gonna say hello to someone with the name so when we did our last print statement we just did print parentheses and then we said hello world so I'll set that up right now this is a pretty easy program right there but we want to add in a variable so that it will print to say hello to someone so I am going to name my variable name because that's a very easy variable to remember we want to make sure that we are naming our variables in a way that is distinctive and really descriptive of what they are defining so for instance if I were to name a variable favorite food I should be putting my favorite food in there so I'll go favorite underscore food that's a common convention of this is variables are all lowercase and any spaces would be made with an underscore instead so you might call that favorite food uh, if you wanted to have a variable that was favorite movies you might just do fave movie that could be a variable as well. So right now we're just going to use this variable that we've called name. And in the variable name, I am going to put a parentheses, or I'm sorry, a quotation again, and I'm gonna put my name, Mr. Forberg. So the name is equal to Mr. Forberg. Now I wanna change this print statement because I don't have my name declared inside of the statement. So what I want to do is I am going to backspace this out and when we have different strings that are connected to each other we want to make sure that we are closing the string and then we are going to hit a plus sign we are going to add in this variable and I'm going to add name right there and I'm going to put a space again hit a plus sign and then I'm going to end by putting an exclamation point because we're excited to see the person. So one thing that I do want to point out is notice that I put a space right after hello. This will read hello space Mr. Forberg exclamation point. If I didn't put that space, it would all be scrunched together. And truly, if we are going at this as a, a individual that draws intelligence from math and science and English, the hello Mr. Forberg is a direct address, so I'm going to put a comma right after hello. Hello, comma, Mr. Forberg. That is proper English punctuation. Anyways, we are now going to run this statement. So I go run, run module. It's going to ask me to save this, and I'll click OK. And I want to save this to my desktop, to computer science programs, and I'm going to save this as hello name. I already have one, so I'm gonna replace that right there. And now, when I print this, it says, hello, Mr. Forberg. And I can go through and I can change this, say that I want to say hello to Adele. I ran into Adele on the street. And I'll say, run module. And I'll say, save, hello, Adele. So you can see that it is changed right there. Let me show you what happens when I take out that space and I run it right there without the space. It's going to save it. And now we have no space in between. So anything that we put inside this variable, we're going to pop right there. So I hope that was a quick tutorial that helped you learn what you needed to know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.